if you're looking at the monitoring page in Cleaver and you scroll down to where it says web server and then request by type and you see some bad requests in here, there could be an instance where you're just getting flooded with a bunch of 404 errors. And you can see that down here in the yellow, the 4XX, these are all 404 errors that are occurring. And I just prompted these 404 errors just a little bit ago, but it could be that this is just flooding your server. And if you scroll up to look at the very top, the total CPU utilization might be all the way up. And what could be happening is that you're just getting attacked by someone who is just scanning your website with a script and then putting in all these different URI extensions to see if there's any vulnerabilities or what your website has on it. And that's generating a bunch of 404 errors. So I'm not running a script right now to completely just impact my server's CPU. You might see that get pretty high. And if you notice that you're getting a lot of those 404 requests and responses, uh, what you could do is use jail to ban in order to detect these attacks and then jail malicious users that might be trying to crawl your site looking for different vulnerabilities. What we're gonna do is SSH into the server. And if I look here, I already have my SSH keys listed. And we're gonna open up terminal and then connect to the server. I'm gonna scroll up and I see the public IP for the server right here. I'm gonna copy that to my clipboard and then go back to my terminal and then SSH. I'm gonna log in as a root and hit the IP. Okay, let's make this a little bit bigger. And another place that we could go into the server to see what kind of requests we're getting is our Nginx access log. Well, let's head over there and CD into var log nginx and then cat access.log. All right, let's increase the width here. And from what we see is let's call the URI, just wef wef, a lot of just random gibberish. And we can see the 404, 404. So a bunch of 404s that I created. Okay, so we can see that this is coming up in the access log. And with this information, we could create a filter for Jildaban to take note of these types of requests and then handle it from there. If we see a lot of these requests coming in, what we want to do is ban them for a certain amount of time. All right, we're going to go to etc. fill the ban. And let's see what we have in this directory. And let me clean this up a little bit. Okay, so in here we have the jail.com file. So it's a configuration file that we're going to work with. And then within this filter.d folder right here, we're going to create a new filter for jail to ban to use to be able to detect these 404 misconduct users that we have. And then real quick, let's see what we have in there. And we can see a bunch of filters that have already been created. When Cleaver provisions a new server, it automatically installs Fildeban and it sets up a bunch of default configurations for it. Let's clean that up again. And what we're gonna do is create a new file. So I'm gonna create a new file using Vim and I'm gonna call this Nginx and then 4XX because we're gonna include all the 400 types, the 400, 444, 404, all the above. Let's start with the definition. And I already have my definition written out and it's going back to that access.log file that we we're looking at earlier. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look for the hosts and then the get post requests that contain 404, 444, 403, and 400. And that's basically it for that. And we're gonna save this out. And we have that created, but let's just make sure it shows up in that list here. Okay, cool, so it's there. And let's back out of the filter and where we're gonna go after that. I think we're gonna go into jail.conf and edit that. So I'm gonna vim jail.config. Okay, so I'm all the way at the bottom here. So I'm just gonna add a config at the very end here. And then I'll call it nginx-4xx. And then, then enabled equals true. This is gonna be enabled. And then ports that we're gonna be scanning is HTTP, HTTPS requests. And then the filter that we're referring to is the one that we just created. And that was nginx 4xx. And then the log path, which is what we're looking at before. And we're gonna to point to that because that's what it's gonna be referring to and then matching that filter against. 
So that log path, uh, I think it was var log nginx and then access.log. Let's see here. So we want to set a band time and with the timing, everything's going to be in seconds. So band time equals, and let's set it to 1,800 seconds, which I believe is about 30 minutes. And then find time. I did not spell that right. Let's see, find time. Um, so if they do this over 60 seconds, and the find time is the period of 404s that occur within this find time. Uh, so we're seeing 60 seconds and, you know, kind of thinking it's probably going to be true for someone that's malicious and not malicious. Let's change this to 10 because if they're running a script, it's going to go by pretty quick. And I think that will catch a malicious user while a non-malicious user probably won't make multiple 404 requests within 10 seconds. And then max retry, which is going to be how many times they hit it. Let's do it five times. So if they hit it five times in 10 seconds, we're going to ban them for 30 minutes. And I think that looks good. Let's save this out. Now what we'll need to do is restart fail to ban. And the command for that is service fail to ban restart. Okay. So it looks like that restarted. And another thing that we can look at real quick too is fail to ban. And then client status nginx for xx. Okay, I'm thinking I probably made an error in the name somewhere. Let's go check the uh, file that we created first. So that's cd and then filter.d. Ah, okay. I didn't put the .conf at the end. All right, no problem. It's easy way to do that. It's just do the move command. .conf. And let's check our work there. Okay, that looks correct. And then we should be able to run this command right here again. Ah, sorry, I gotta restart first. All right, now let's run this command again. Okay, cool, now it works. Okay, so we currently see that nothing has filled and there is nothing in our band list. So let's test this out real quick and see if we could trigger something to show up on our band list. All right, back here, let's add some random stuff here. All right, that was request number one. Request number two, request number three, and we have to do this all within 10 seconds. Ah, perfect. So I got the Cloudflare splash screen right here. It says that there's an error with the server. Basically, the server is saying, nope, I don't want that guy. Put him in jail. And if we go back to the terminal and then check it now. All right, so we see that one has currently filled. And there's the IP. 